For this assignment, you are going to have to open up Adobe Premiere and take a full screenshot of this entire interface area. That screenshot is going to create a picture that ends up on your desktop and you're going to open that in another program so that you can outline and name each of these four work windows. So, to take a screenshot, look down at your keyboard. You're going to press and release three keys at the same time. Those keys are Command, Shift, and 3. When you press those keys and release, your computer will take a photograph of whatever is on the screen. You can minimize Premiere once you've done that by pressing on the yellow button here. And you'll see on your desktop, in addition to whatever really cute picture you've got, something called a screenshot. Right click on that image and choose Open with Preview. Open with Preview. Preview is nothing more than a simple photo viewer and editor, but it's going to let us mark up that image with some information that you're going to send to me. So click Open with Preview and give your image a minute to open in Preview. Now, this app has a couple of really cool tools that we are going to access so that you can box out each of those four work windows in Premiere and label them with the name of the work window. This is going to demonstrate that you actually know what those four work windows in Premiere are. So what will come up is a picture of your Premiere work area, but notice it's nothing more than a photograph. It's even called screenshot blah 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 at whatever time you made it. It shows everything that I had open at the time. Now this is what's so cool about Preview. And you'll notice up here next to the Apple, Preview is open. That's how I know what application I'm in. In order to really accomplish this task, you're going to have to view your editing toolbar. This is going to let us draw boxes and put text on top of each of these four work windows. So click on Show Edit Toolbar. In newer versions of Preview, this might be called Markup Toolbar. Click on that and you'll see a whole series of symbols pop up. These things are really cool. They let you annotate on top of an image. I'm going to choose the rectangle tool. My cursor is pointing right at it. And I have some options. You can choose cute colors and whatever. Don't choose anything too dark or else I won't be able to see it on your image. I'm going to choose something really bright. In this case, a bright orange. All I have to do then is drag a box around the first of these four work windows. Again, the text explanation of the assignment is on blend space, so you can read that again. You're going to mark up each of these four work windows and you're going to label them so that I know that you know what they're called. So I've drawn a box around it, that's great. Step two is to add text. Right here I've got my text tool. Text! You could even put a cute speech bubble or a thought bubble. Hey, as long as it's big enough for me to read it, I'm fine with any of those. I'll use plain old text. 26 point is pretty decent to start. All I have to do is click in this window. Click! And a text box pops up. I can make it bigger if I want to, but I need to make sure that I edit this text. I know what window this is. Do you? This is the source window. There you go. Don't say I never gave you anything. Source window. Your job is to box out and name each of these four windows. I've already given you one, so you know you've got at least one out of five points for this assignment. Once you have finished boxing and labeling all four of these work windows, you're going to have to save what you've done in preview. You'll come up here to file export as PDF. You're going to email this to me, so compressing it is a good idea at this point. Export as PDF. Click on it. And of course, the all-important decision, what are you going to name it, and where are you going to save it? 
So a dialog box will pop up. You are going to, for example, you probably want to save it to your desktop. Once you've saved the file, email it to me as an attachment. You'll receive four points for correct boxing and labeling and one point for sending it to me as a PDF. The assignment total is five points.